Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the iPhone 3G and 3GS LCD and touchscreen glass digitizer repair guide. Uh, the first thing you want to do for your LCD is apply it to the original LCD back plate. Uh, make sure the little holes on the very top line up with your new LCD so that it is properly positioned on the LCD back plate. Uh, you'll notice these little tiny holes on the actual metal back plate. So just make sure that lines up and adhere it to the back. Once you've put your LCD together, go ahead and take your iPhone mid-frame. Uh, make sure that you have removed all the original adhesive or glue or glass that was on the original mid-frame before you apply the new adhesive on. And go ahead and use your pre-cut adhesive, or if you somehow don't have pre-cut adhesive, just place adhesive around the sides, making sure not to block any of the little sensors or holes on the actual mid-frame. Once you have that adhesive installed on your mid-frame, go ahead and remove the little stickers on the top and bottom of your new touchscreen glass uh, because that's obviously where the adhesive applies to the touchscreen glass. And you will go ahead and remove the top layer of your 3M double-sided adhesive, making sure not to pull off the adhesive when you do this, obviously. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and make sure that your touchscreen glass digitizer is positioned correctly. Make sure to pull the little digitizer flex cable under the midframe so that it's not like pushed against it or anything like that. And make sure it's all flush and seated correctly on the actual midframe assembly. Around this point right here, I would go ahead and check our home button. Make sure it's clicking properly that it's in the glass and on the midframe properly. Um, checking all the sides and corners. Just making sure that the adhesive is tight. Once you have that touch ring glass seated on the midframe properly, go ahead and remove the little plastic on the back. I generally wait to remove the plastic so that no dust or dirt gets on it. And now you can take your LCD and put it onto the midframe assembly. If you had changed your LCD, obviously go ahead and remove the screen protector that was on there. Uh, just slide it through. And for the corners, make sure that you push them down safely. Don't push too hard. You don't want to break your LCD. But make sure all the corners are in properly and that the screw holes and screws will line up. Once you have your LCD completely assembled onto the mid-frame assembly, go ahead and screw in the six screws. One on the top, two on one side, and three on the other. With your touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD completely assembled, go ahead and you can put it back onto your motherboard. First, you want to go ahead and place in the number three connector. Remember that the connection on the logic board has a jawbone connector that does need to be flipped up in order for the cable to properly go inside of it. Once that is done, go ahead and push in your number two touchscreen digitizer cable followed by, finally, the LCD cable. Apply a little bit of pressure onto the top of the screen when pushing it down to make sure that the cables do not pop off. And screw in the bottom two screws on your housing. Once that is complete, your phone should properly boot up and your touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD will work.